Namaskara everyone. Welcome to Adi Yoga Shala YouTube channel. I'm Sanjay. In this video, I'm going to share about how to approach yogasana practice by understanding the fundamentals. So please watch this video completely to understand each topic and also if you're not yet subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notification of the upcoming videos. So nowadays, Yogasana became very popular globally and people are practicing Yogasana in their daily routine. So Yogasana is a very good practice and also you need to understand how to approach Yogasana. Why? Because people are usually practicing yoga, Yogasana like to become fit or for their health issues or to become slim thing. Likewise, uh, in so many aspects, people are practicing Yogasana. But actually, you need to understand what Yogasana is effectiveness, how it's effective for our system. So here, Yogasana, you can practice in so many level of aspects so here you can approach yogasana in a so many level of aspects so here one is physical and psychological and your energy level so these three are the main so you can approach yogasana for your well-being but people are usually uh, only approach yogasana as like a, a physical workout but it's not just a physical workout it's beyond physical so here i'm going to give an example to understand this so let us say a vehicle using a vehicle for your journey from point a to point b maybe it could be a, a bike or a car any kind You're using a vehicle in a good condition you can travel without any interruption but if you are traveling with a without service vehicle maybe it causes some interruption maybe it could be a also crash in your journey your vehicle become crash so a good condition vehicle is a uh, very important in our journey so here a vehicle is like our body so if you maintain your body in a good condition and if you prepare your body for the journey you can travel from various aspects of level so here yogasana is like a tool or a process you can you are using for your body for a physical dimension of the body but yogasana will not only for the dimension of the physical so while you practicing yogasana you will experience in the physical dimension and in a psychological and also in energy level so here yogasana is a very important process to practice to approach in a good manner so now we, we're going to understand how to approach yogasana in your daily practice so there are very few simple to understand this so you need to question yourself what and how what is yogasana and how yogasana so this too if you question yourself so the first thing is what so what yogasana see if you sit in any posture it is called as asana when you add yoga to the asana it become yogasana so here yogasana word is a, a two word if you combine a two word it become yogasana yoga and asana so this is how you need to understand about the word yogasana now how to approach yogasana 
So there are a few things you need to understand before practicing yogasana. If you apply these six rules in your practice, you can approach in a good manner. Also, you feel more comfortable in your practice. So then what are the six things you need to add? So the first thing is without expectation. See, while you're practicing asana, any kind of asana, for example, it's, it's a back bending or a leg strengthen, leg balance, handstand, any kind. If you're practicing asana means you should not have keep any expectation because if you keep some expectation while you're practicing, you create a boundary and you will not go beyond the boundaries and you will not experience the actual thing. So if you're practicing without expectation, it's a very good way. So the second thing is alignment. While you're practicing yogasana, if you concentrate about your alignment, if you bring your geometric structure in a perfect way, you can experience the actual effectiveness of that particular asana. So bringing the alignment to your posture is much more effectiveness and also it's a much more beneficial for you. So the third one is breath. While you're practicing asana, if you synchronize your breath to your body and to your breath to your movement, you will feel you will experience the actual effectiveness of the particular asana and also it will lead to the meditative state so the next fourth one is comfortable and stability if you are practicing asana without comfortable if you feel uncomfortable while you're practicing and if you are feeling unstable so it doesn't make sense so while you're practicing asana you should feel comfortable and also you should bring stability for stable you need to bring perfect alignment and breathe if you approaching this way your body become more stable and you feel comfortable in a posture the fifth one is limitations so while you practicing yogasana you should understand the limitation of your body see if you see this physical body physical body has some limitations you cannot approach beyond your limitations so while you practicing or while you initiate the practicing of yogasana if you are a beginner better you should not go beyond the limitations you should practice yogasana as much as possible and in your limitations so the sixth one is experiencing so this is the most important part in your practice while you're practicing yogasana you should allow yourself to experience the actual nature of asana if you keep any expectation you cannot experience the actual nature of asana or if you're not if you're not doing perfect alignment still you cannot if you're not synchronize your breath still cannot and also if you're not comfortable and not stable still cannot and if you're going out of limitations you feel discomfort so experiencing is the most important while you're practicing asana you should experience the actual nature of asana we say if you're practicing yogasana if you're applying all these rules you will experience the true nature of asana and also you will touch the pleasure while you stay in a posture so try to feel and try to apply all these things in your practice and make your practice in a better way let us know what kind of a video you want and if you have any questions regarding this you can ask in a comment section comment below and like share and subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching video namaskara